powerful documentaries in recent years have featured the harrowing personal testimonies of hostages in Beirut forced to sit in darkened rooms, starved of food and drink, and watching Terry Waite having a dump once a day. <laughs> but not every documentary maker can get hold of the genuine article, so watch out now as our fake documentary maker, Paul Garner, literally takes no prisoners. With anti-Western feelings running high in the Middle East, British travellers and expatriates face the constant threat of kidnap. I've come here to Birmingham to speak to those people with direct experience of the hostage issue. We've got to get a report done for tonight and we've got to get it back to London. I haven't really got time to go and find the people, you know, who've genuinely been kidnapped. So what I was hoping you'd do, if you don't mind, I'll tell you exactly what to say, is make out you were this guy this kidnapper bloke. Yeah, I'll just tell you yeah. what to say. It's yeah, a couple of things. Worry. First say, if you're looking at Terry Wade, I don't look like Terry Wade. I know, but <laughs> I, I don't, think pe don't think people will really no. know that, you know. My name is ex hostage <laughs> Terry Wade, and I am the artist for Cantoris envoy. Being held hostage for such a long time as you were yourself must have, must have caused some side effects, I would have thought. I have been incarcerated for so long, I have got a bit of a stutter. You've got what? Stutter, stutter. Can you just stutter some more? Stutter, stutter, stutter. Your boyfriend's being held hostage at the moment and you're very worried about him. It's that sort of thing. I think I could say that because it's like telling a lie, isn't it? So, madam, can you tell us about your boyfriend? Yes, he's being held hostage <laughs> in Baghdad and I'm very worried about him. So what exactly have you got here? Actually, this was sent by the kidnappers. And I gather there's something inside. You want to just show us what they are? Something then? inside. Um, do you want me to show you? Yes, please. It's his spleen. That's what? It's his spleen. It's his spleen. And I gather there's a note. You can drop that. I gather there's a note they sent you. What does this say? OK, lovely girl. So here's his spleen. Tell your government that if our political prisoners are not release soon we'll cut off his bloody pig bomb hole. <laughs> that must have alarmed you when you received that. Yes it did actually. I've got a uh, disguise you can wear so people won't know who you are. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah whatever yeah. And exactly who are you? Sir? Um, Arabic kidnapper. And what's that on your face? It is blood. I have just come back from torturing a hostage. If now you can really <laughs> detest America, you know, like when you say America, you go, oh, bloody Americans, and really have a rant about America. The Americans must be defeated really, at all costs. Really angry, they yeah. are imperialist pigs. And now, we will defeat them. We will defeat them in the end. Yeah, yeah that's very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> we just need some library shots of, you know, typical um, kidnapper, Muslim type kidnapper celebrating, you know, an another kidnap. Oh, yeah. Bit more, go around the square a second bit. This is Paul Garner in Birmingham. <laughs>